I got memed on real hard during state champs. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, why do I do this every time, by the way, first of all? Like, what am I, am I flinging something? I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's just my thing. Today's video is gonna be uh, my story time from Warp Tour. As you can tell probably from the title, just my experience, couple interesting things that happened because I want to tell people about them. They are wild, they're absolutely wild. I don't know if you can tell that I changed my background a little bit. I've got a table over there for a sewing project I've been working on for somebody. You can see diabetes in the chair back there, that's my Pikachu. So, uh, yeah, my room's a little bit of a mess, but my camera needs to charge right now, and so I have it plugged into the wall, and I can't really sit any further forward than I currently am, so. We're just gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, but anyways, like I said, this video is gonna be me telling stories from Warp Tour and also doing a little bit of a haul because I bought way too much stuff there. So let's go ahead and do that and get that out of the way first, and then we can talk about uh, the time I got memed on at Warp Tour. So we're just gonna go in no particular order here, mostly because I can't remember exactly what stuff I bought when, but also just because I'm kind of lazy and it doesn't really matter anyway. So the first thing I want to show is this sticker that I got that was signed by all of the members of State Champs. I don't know if you can tell the signatures. I accidentally smudged this one, I think. Is it this? Yeah, it's that one. You can kind of tell it's a little bit smudged. So I'm trying really hard not to touch this too much because it is just Sharpie. But that was exciting. I, I went up to their, <laughs> their signing at their tent and I was just like, Hey, I don't have anything for you to sign. I just wanted to say I love you. And they're like, Oh, we got you covered. And they gave me this sticker and it's awesome. And you can definitely tell which one's Derek's. And after that, I have no idea because signatures are just... Signatures are a weird thing. You can never tell who's is who's. I mean, maybe some people can. I certainly can't. The next thing I got are these shorts. Okay, first of all, before I show them, do not laugh at me. I know this is ridiculous, okay? But I wanted him to sign something, and I didn't... You know, everything else was black. What are you going to do? I got these shorts from the Cleaver booth, which is, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Ice Nine Kills from and Spencer Charnas' brand. And he also signed the back of this, which I heat sealed with my iron, so that was fun. And I went up to him and I was just like, hey, thanks for following me on Instagram, because he is, and that's really sweet, and I don't know what I did to deserve that, but thank you again. And I was just like, well, I can't not buy anything, so I was like, I guess I'll get the weird shorts, you know? But it's kind of funny. I wore these uh, on vacation last weekend, and... Um, Needless to say, my family was very confused, but that's all right. The next thing I got is possibly my favorite. It is this water park shirt. This I did not get signed, and I regret not getting in line for them because I had the opportunity, as you saw in my vlog. I'll link up in the cards if you haven't watched the vlog. I got really, really close to water parks, and I didn't get in line because I was like, ah, oh, it's too long to wait for a signing, but I did get their shirt, and just can we appreciate the way that Austin spelled Warped Tour at the top? God bless. I've been wearing this way too much, and it's just the funniest thing, and nobody so far has approached me about the spelling on the back, so either people just don't care, or they know, and they're Water Parks fans, and they are also aware. So that was cool. Actually, no, I lied. I do know which one I got first. It's this one. This is the Knuckle Puck shirt. Where am I going? It looks like that, and then it's got the same design on the back, but bigger. And I got all the signatures, and again, I am not very good at differentiating between signatures, but I think this one is Joe's. Looks like it just says JKP, which I'm assuming stands for Joe Knucklepuck. But, who the heck knows? I really enjoy this. It's got some trees on the bottom, and a hand, and another hand, and some planets. Why am I from the south? Okay, well that was fun, yeah. And you can see the moment that I met Knucklepuck also in my vlog. I'm just promoting the vlog. It's very long, I apologize, but I enjoyed it. And then I bought this one right here. This one also did not get signed because A, it is black and you cannot sign a black shirt with a black sharpie, just so you know. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty obvious anyways, but whatever. And it's the State Champs one, and it says summer 2018. It's got a little skeletal on the front. It says uh, dead and gone on it. And then here's a party skeletal on the back. He's just having a dang good time. And then there are the warp dates at the bottom, if you can tell. And this is one of my favorite shirts as well. I have been wearing this to death at work. I'm surprised Noah has been like, hey, uh, do you ever wash that shirt? The answer is yes, I do, but what can you do? I, I mean, I love this thing so much, I put it on at the end of the day before we even left the venue, so. Dedication. And then the last thing that I got there 
was this grayscale shirt, which I also got signed on the back. And I know this was Colin because he's the only one I met. But can someone please tell me how that is at all his signature? I mean, okay, it's a W, right? But maybe that's it. Maybe he didn't put a C. I'm not really sure. Like I said, bad at signatures. I don't care. I still like it. Still love him. He's great. But I'm just so confused. Like, I don't even have a signature. I need to get on that. But anyways, that is my little warp tour haul. I spent way too much money. I know it's not that crazy compared to some people who bring like $400 to spend, but for me, as someone who does not make a lot of money, that is a lot, and I regret nothing. I'm just saying. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on to the story time. I'm pretty sure that's why everybody clicked on this video. Yeah, let's get into it. So since I don't really know where to start with this, I'm just going to start from the beginning. So if you don't want to hear all this stuff, I'm going to leave a timestamp. I think I said this before, but I'll leave a timestamp in the description. And you can just skip all this and get straight to the part mentioned in the title, which obviously is the most exciting part of the story, but you know what? I'm going to tell it all anyways, because I what am I going to do otherwise? Alright, so it all started. <laughs> it all started the night before Warp Tour. We, we stayed up way too late, basically, is what I'm getting at here. I was up till probably, I was up till past midnight, really, uh, watching YouTube videos, ironically, about Warp Tour. Yeah, um, that was dumb. So none of us got more than four hours of sleep because I was up at 5.30 in the morning. Or was it 4.30? I was up at 4.30, yep, that was it. I don't even remember anything anymore, but yeah, no, I was up super, super early, didn't barely get any sleep, so the drive down was a little bit kind of groggy, you know? I mean, obviously I didn't drive impaired, you know? We went and got coffee first, so that helped, but... Yeah, so I was already kind of tired, and by the time we got there and started hitting traffic, we were all really irritated because the traffic took forever, and for those of you who don't live in California or who don't visit California enough to know about the traffic, there's no reason. It is absolutely just a meaningless backup, usually, usually, and <laughs> You can ask my friends about this one, it, I mean, if you want to, or just take my word for it, but, um, I started turning into my dad, I was, I was like, uh, you know, we better start seeking some body parts, somebody up there should, they better be dead, because, uh, we're sitting here waiting in traffic, no, I mean, it's a terrible time, like, I, I don't want anybody to die, obviously, but, like, that's how irritated we all were, is we're like, ah, somebody better be dead up there, but, no, it was for absolutely nothing, so we got to the hotel, we check in, doesn't take very long, and then, then, we try to drive to the venue, which, by the way, GPS says is about 10 minutes away, right? That's why I booked that hotel, because it was so darn close to the venue. We drove for 45 minutes, probably closer to an hour. Again, absolutely no reason for the traffic. I'm just ranting at this point. I hate traffic, but honestly, like, backups, they're hardly ever for a reason. People are bad drivers. Fight me. <laughs> yeah, so we get to the venue, and we finally find a parking space, and we're like, why the heck did this take? almost an hour because there are plenty of parking spaces and there are like, people coming in fairly rapidly but I think it's mostly because people don't know how to cross the street you know what whatever so we get there and I think I mentioned this in the vlog but I took off of the car because I was like y'all we cannot walk over there people are gonna get ahead of us because I, I was under this delusion that like maybe if we got there faster the lines wouldn't fill up as badly we would get in more quickly I was wrong I was very wrong. I, I didn't sprint, but like, I race pace jogged there. And for anybody who doesn't run cross country, race pace is just like how you would run if you were racing. Pretty self explanatory, but whatever. Yeah, so I, I jogged there like I was in a race. And I got there, I got us a spot in line, and it still took us probably two hours to get into the venue. So we got there around noon, noonish, a little bit after noon, and we didn't get inside until two something. I mean, I'd already missed the Crown the Empire set, so that means it was like 2.30 by the time we got inside. And also, fun thing, apparently you can run out of donations, which I don't really understand what that means, but you know how they advertise it, or like you can bring something to donate and you can get in faster, it's like the skip the line or whatever? <laughs> we got up there and they were yelling at us, they're like, there's no skip the line anymore, we're out of donations, you know, we're like, what, what does that mean? And we tried to ask one of the staff, the personnel there, and she was just like, it doesn't matter, just get in there. Like, she was yelling at us, and we're like, that doesn't make any sense, and you're being rude, and we just asked you a question, but whatever. 
And so then none of us got to donate anything because even though we had it, we we're like, here, please, you know, take it. We don't need to skip the line. They didn't want to accept any more donations, which I think is really stupid because, you know, um, lots of homeless people, whatever. So that was really dumb. I have never heard of that happening before. I thought that was a little bit outrageous. Oh, hello, Mr. Dutch. Sorry, I just interrupted. Like, look at my cat. Let's see if this will focus, even though it's on the charger. There he is. Hello, Dutch. He is king of the world. That's what I was looking at right there. But, oh goodness, I gotta refocus. Yeah, so that was interesting. We finally got in, and immediately I turn around and my friends are missing. They just, I don't know where they went. But then I started wandering around a little bit because I was like, well, shoot, if we're already separated, I might as well do something. So I went, and that's when I found water parks, and that was a good time. And then I met up with my friends again from Mayday Pride, and from then on, it wasn't really super exciting stuff. You know, like I got a headache and I went off by myself again. And then that's when I met Knuckle Puck and State Champs, and then I found another one of my friends. And just, any, anyways, all that stuff is in the middle. It does not matter. Fast forward. We're going to fast forward. <laughs> this is the second most exciting story in this vlog. So the second most exciting story in this vlog is when I went to go see water parks and I got there at the end of, I think it was Black Veil Brides that pay, played before them and I'm not really a huge Black Veil Brides fan. fan. Oh, I can't talk, I'm so heated. <laughs> but I went and stayed for the end of their set so I could get a good spot for water parks. And then my friend Jenny, who you saw in the vlog, met me there and we had a good spot and we were in the front. And there were these guys that lined up to go see state champs. And I'm like, oh, cool, fellow state champs fans. You know, they probably see my shirt and like, hey, you know, fellow band friends. However, during the whole set, and you probably heard me complaining about this, I don't think I edited this out of the vlog, <laughs> which I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but I guess it doesn't really matter. The whole time, like, every single thing that Austin would say into them, like, they would boo him and they would, like, just reprimand them after every song, you know? I think you heard him say, like, when Austin said that whole thing about, oh, say anything you want to say to me, they're like, get a bassist, you know, just like that the whole time. And, you know, I shot him a couple looks, and one guy was like, oh, she's mad. Well, yeah, I'm mad. You don't go to some band set and then insult them the whole time. That's just dumb. Why would you do that? It's dumb and inconsiderate, and how would you like it if you had a band and people just sat at your show and insulted you the whole time? <laughs> So I don't think I got it on camera. I definitely flipped them off. I was pissed at them, and you can see they pushed past everybody for state champs, you know. But it like it left the sour taste in my mouth that fans of the one of my favorite bands were acting like that. Here's what I have to say: Not every band has to be like your favorite band. State champs, incredible band, perfect. I love them. Not a single song do they have that I do not like. Past their first two albums, those are okay, but they're not my favorite. But Anything from Overslept and Beyond? Impeccable. Love it. However, not every single band needs to be state champs. I think people don't understand that. And, I, I mean, I'm just ranting at this point, but, like, why would you go and stand there and just not be quiet? Like, why shout at a band when you could just not and leave them alone and let people enjoy things? I don't know. Okay. I'm just moving on. But, yeah, so that was super annoying. And then, <laughs> oh, boy, let's get to the exciting part. Guys, I got memed on real hard during state champs. So my friend Jenny that was with me went to the back. She went to go like get some water or something and then she decided she didn't want to be in the pit. So uh, I was by myself at the front of the crowd and I already kind of knew that was a bad idea. I think you can see in my vlog when I'm filming, I think it's the first half of Dead and Gone. I mean, I'm getting jostled around and I was <laughs> screaming and like there were crowd servers. You can definitely tell from the vlog and I conveniently stopped filming right when this happened, but there was a girl crowd surfing above me and like, okay, don't take this the wrong way. She was on the heavier side, which is totally fine. I'm not against people being heavier and wanting to crowd surf. You know, you have a good time, you do what you can. But the people around me obviously couldn't hold her up because they dropped her right on my head, just crashing down <laughs> right on me. And I don't remember much except that as a reaction, she started kicking me and pulled my hair out when she was dropped on me. Like they were trying to pick her up as I was standing there being crushed and but they couldn't do it and they wouldn't just like let her fall completely so I was like constantly being shoved toward the ground uh, she ripped my hair out I lost my moth clip which uh, was my favorite thing unfortunately and I don't think they're available to buy anymore so rest in peace moth clip but yes yeah, so my hair got ripped out and 
my glasses almost fell off like they were getting shoved down in my face and if you remember from the vlog I was wearing two pairs of glasses I was wearing my other pair and then the like the round ones with the moon and stars on it and so I had two pairs of glasses getting shoved into my face and being kicked in the head my hair is being ripped out and all around me people are still moving and moshing and stuff I don't know I'm just start I just started shrieking right and then this girl bless her heart I don't know who you are you're probably not watching this but bless you I love you she started pushing me to the back of the crowd and she's like, do you need medical attention? I'm like, no, 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 I'm fine, but, <laughs> and you know, in between sobs, of course. Um, but that was really kind of her, making sure I was okay. And then I just basically cried through the rest of the set until probably two songs to the end and then I got into it again. But that was, that was an experience for sure. Uh, yeah. I don't even know. I mean, after that, I kind of just wandered off by myself. I'd run out of water at that point and my dumbass decided that hey I'm dehydrated I should buy the giant freaking whatever like the strawberry whatever it was that you know the big drinks are like this and they're frozen and they've got freaking alcohol in them I'm like that'll be hydrating no just because it's frozen doesn't mean it's hydrating that's a lesson to you yeah so I went to go get some more water and basically just kind of stumbling around and unaware of my surroundings after I was pretty sure I had brain damage I mean we went to Great America the next day and I almost passed out in the park and I couldn't talk and my voice was gone and I mean you can probably still tell my voice after two weeks has not really recovered I don't think I've received any permanent damage from it but you never know I don't care enough to go get it checked out <laughs> so but yeah that is uh, that is my story I don't really know how else to describe it except that I got memed on really but yeah anyways I'm sorry if that was kind of anticlimactic I just wanted to put that out there because I think it's kind of funny now but at the time I was absolutely mortified you know um, I hope you guys enjoyed that story, and uh, I guess there won't be a next time because there's no work tour for me to talk about, but I will make other videos. You can expect more videos from me, subpar as always, coming up in the near future here, and yeah. Oh, before I forget, you should also subscribe to my channel and follow me on other social media because I do tend to try to post more frequently now. I know in the past I've been kind of spotty with the posting, but I've been lately trying to come up with more video ideas, so I would really appreciate it if you subbed to my channel and maybe liked this video, you don't have to, but that would be super dank and I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, have a nice day and thank you for watching and I will see you in the future. Bye!